37 years. Always liked you. Always looked after you. I never trusted you. I have someone who wants to meet you. I will ever let anything happen to you. Get in there and get me some bourbon. Go on, get it, shut up. I don't even understand you. Hey, baby. Morning. Sit down anywhere. No, no, I wouldn't sit right there. We had a little party here last night. Just playing, but I'm not. But I kind of am. I always try to find out about the people I'm planning on offering a job to. I already have a job. I serve drinks and I look cute. You also do something else really well. All right, I'm not even going to say it, because y'all know what this is. So, what's the deal? Something big has come up. Mel wants us to get a hold of the shipment and find out who the pickup is. It's like the easiest job we'll ever do. Little car trouble? Yeah, yeah. Well, I know a thing or two about engines. I see the problem right here. Who drives the truck and where is it? Drop the gun. Listen, Jesse Jane. You got three seconds to put it down before Mel gets here. How do you know Mel? Oh, me and Mel, we go way back, baby. What the hell are you doing here? <laughs> Just a test. It's a setup. What about the dope and the money? Yeah, I don't think you understand what's going on here. Do you think you can pound two million dollars worth of coke and just walk away? His last job. It was your last. Look at what he's doing. He's double crossing us. How do I know you're telling the truth? You're just as sweet as a little daisy. Ain't you? Three, two, one. Once upon a time, there were two little girls who lived in a house. Daddy, you're, home. <laughs> you're so beautiful. Stay like that forever. Look at that. I wonder where they are now. Sweetie, are you okay? What are you so scared about? There's something out there. Yeah. <laughs> what were you doing in there? You live here and you don't know about the murders. What murders? The whole family was shot. The father survived. Who did it? The focus came down to the father. Peter Lord Slaughterhouse. Everybody who lives in this house gets killed. How could the neighbors not have said anything to us? The house has been empty a long time. I need to talk to you about one of your patients, Peter Ward. Let's make sure we're talking about the same man. That's not Peter Ward. That's me. You lived in this institution for five years, Peter. No. We released you seven days ago. Oh, I hate it when you leave. Look. They told me that you're not really here. What? You and the girls are dead. Did I do it? No. What do you remember? I left my wife and my family at home this morning. Who's at the door? There's something wrong with this house. You can't stay there. It's gonna kill you. Peter Ward, back! Once upon a time, there were two little girls who lived in a house. <laughs>